Construct validity is the extent to which a test or measurement accurately represents the concept it is intended to measure. It ensures that the test truly reflects the theoretical idea behind it, rather than measuring something else. Construct validity is especially important in psychology, education and social sciences, where abstract concepts such as intelligence, motivation or anxiety must be measured indirectly. If a test has high construct validity, it means that the results can be trusted to reflect the intended concept. Researchers use various methods to evaluate construct validity, ensuring that their tests measure what they claim to. Now let's look at some examples of construct validity in practice. Construct validity can be seen in different areas of research and testing. For example, if a test is designed to measure intelligence, it should include questions that assess problem solving, reasoning and logic, rather than just memorization skills. Another example is a survey designed to measure job satisfaction. If the survey only asks about salary, but ignores factors like work environment and personal growth, it may lack construct validity. In psychological research, construct validity is tested by comparing new measurement tools to well-established ones to ensure consistency. These examples show how construct validity helps ensure that assessments accurately reflect the concepts they aim to measure. Now let's explore some strengths of construct validity. One major strength of construct validity is that it improves the accuracy and reliability of research by ensuring that tests measure the intended concepts. This allows researchers to draw meaningful conclusions and apply their findings to real-world situations. Another advantage is that construct validity helps prevent measurement errors, reducing the risk of drawing incorrect conclusions based on flawed assessments. Additionally, strong construct validity increases scientific credibility as researchers can trust that their measurements align with theoretical concepts. Because of these strengths, construct validity is essential for high-quality research and testing. Now let's examine some weaknesses of construct validity. Despite its importance, construct validity has some limitations. One major challenge is that it can be difficult to establish as abstract concepts are often complex and hard to define precisely. Another issue is that researchers may unintentionally introduce bias when designing tests, affecting the accuracy of the measurements. Additionally, construct validity requires extensive testing and validation, which can be time-consuming and resource-intensive. If a test lacks construct validity, its results may not be meaningful, leading to flawed conclusions. While construct validity is a crucial part of research, these challenges highlight the need for careful test development. Now let's look at some alternative ways to assess validity. An alternative to construct validity is content validity, which examines whether a test fully covers all aspects of the concept being measured. Another alternative is criterion validity, which evaluates how well a test's results align with other established measures of the same concept. Face validity is also used, where experts or participants assess whether a test appears to measure what it claims to, while these alternatives focus on different aspects of measurement. Accuracy, construct validity, remains essential for ensuring that tests truly reflect the theoretical ideas they are based on. 